Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy A11, and this device does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of. Google added it as a security feature back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the buying and selling of used mobile devices these days. So when a device is factory reset without first taking off the account that's on it, it's then going to ask you for that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this specific device, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or couldn't recover the login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously after the purchase, the buyer didn't have the login information to get in, and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens uh, these days in the buying and selling of mobile devices, unfortunately. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the device unlocked from that Google lock without having to have the previous login information. It's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world, so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So as you could very clearly see the device was on the Google Lock page and then because we had already done 99% of the work ahead of time we just had to do one more restart to the device and now we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup process without seeing that Google Lock. So we're just going to start going step by step here tapping let's go and then agree to the terms and conditions and then we don't need Wi-Fi, so we're going to go ahead and just turn that off and keep going. And then we don't need to copy any apps and data, so we're just going to skip that. And then it's going to check a few things here for us. And now it's actually prompting us to sign in with any Google account that we want. So that is a very good sign that the lock has been removed. We're just going to skip that and keep going, though. Skip, skip. Finishing touches. I think we're almost there. We're not going to do any more apps, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that whenever that finally finishes popping up. There we go, and we don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that too. And finish. Okay, I think we should be all set here. Yep, sure enough. Looks like we've got the home screen loading up here. So we do have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So indeed, under the About Phone section, we can indeed see here that we have a Galaxy A11, and then that model number there, the A115U, that is the model number of all of the U.S. models of the Galaxy A11, no matter which carrier it originally came from. And I know you saw the T-Mobile logo there at the beginning, so that is which carrier this specific model is from. So, if you have a Galaxy A11 and would like help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday.
Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.